You're watching Around the Crease with the Boston Cannons. I'm your host, Alexandra Grace. Greg, yes. uh, tell us who you are, what group you're a part of, and why, maybe. Yeah, my name is Greg Scheidler. Um, we're part of the, we're called the Ball Busters. We started back in year one when the Cannons were in Lowell. Uh, we were tailgating the family, me and my kids, my, my son Leo, Gregory, my daughter Caitlin. We were in the, in the, um, in the parking lot just having some girls grilling up. And Dave Evans came out and started talking to us, wanting to know if we had ice for his cooler. And from that point on, we started cheering for Dave. We started being real vocal during the games. And it, that kind of morphed into picking on the goalie, kind of morphed into picking on the, the, the centerman, and then just kind of picking out two or three guys that we'd kind of ride. So now when we moved over here, the team moved us down behind the uh, the, visitors, the visitors bench, and we just we we, we heckle the heckle the team. Where in, in years past, we've always seemed to get one or two people, one or two guys that will engage us. And once they engage us, once they turn around and make eye contact with us, then we know we own them. You we know, you've them. got them right where That's you it. want them. That's it, yeah. A and lot we of tell them that. Yeah. Yeah. Say, hey, you're uh, yeah, you're, you're all mine now. You made eye contact with your eyes now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> once they lock it in, it's over for yeah. them. Exactly. Are we able to say ball busters? Is that well, we technically, we're cannonball busters. We're not ball busters. We're cannonball busters. So, you're a little wordsmith, Greg. Exactly. Yeah, gotta keep PC. You know, a lot of uh, sports teams say when they come play at Fenway Park, you know, the fans are so intense. We're so passionate about the sport that it's really hard for the opposing team to come and play in Fenway. Mm -hmm. And you guys are kind of representing yes. those fans for the Cannons. Absolutely, absolutely. We try to be we try to be that extra guy out in the field where. Um, it's it's we're, we're giving we're giving our home team a, a little bit of an advantage. You know? And this is a family gathering as well. Exactly. Well, it's it's gone from a family to I mean, obviously you can see the family has grown. I mean, it's me, my my daughter Caitlin, my two sons, and then that's kind of morphed into what you see here. It'll go on for generations. I think it will. Yeah. Can you teach me like a, a, a heckling thing? Like, what's some advice you can give? I I don't have I don't talk smack as good yeah, as I what, we, what we what we one of the things we do is if um, if a if a player gets a penalty, they come over, they sit in the on, on the in the penalty box, and we'll ride them in the penalty box, make them take the helmet off, tell them you know show their pretty face in the end of the thing, and then if we score a goal, and we'll all stand up, we try to get the whole group to stand up, and it's all your fault. We just do it's all your fault, it's all your fault. Kind of you know let them know that because they screw up, we scored a goal, and thank you very much, and you know, we appreciate it. I feel like a screw up just listening to that. To be honest, <laughs> I feel I feel awful about myself. Well, thank you for being so supportive. We love having you guys here. Thank you for talking to us. for the team, yeah. but you actually... I intern. You intern. Tell I us intern about the team. Um, I've been in the office for um, five months. I was a marketing intern for the team, and then I help out with the games. I do everything. I do um, birthdays, I do merchandise, I do everything where the team needs me. So. You really get down and dirty if you have to, but you seem like you really enjoy it. Why are you doing this? Um, I'm a grad student. And um, I want to um, go into the sports world one day. So hopefully this is a little take as to what the sports world is. So. What have you enjoyed so far about working here? Um, relationships. Everyone is so nice here. Everyone helps out and, um, and teaching me the ropes of the sports world, of the pro sports world. So. You get to watch some good lacrosse sometimes? Watch some good lacrosse. Hopefully um, a win today. That would be awesome. Would be awesome for the team. So it's a great uh, sport. When I first met you, you were working at the birthday fun zone. Does it take a lot of patience and energy to be around so many kids all day long? Because you start very early. Very early. I'm here at um, 8 a.m. in the morning. But um, I was actually a camp counselor for eight years, so I've gotten very used to kids. But um, it's awesome. You get to um, meet a lot of new people every week, and the parents are so nice, and the, the kids are so energetic, and they just love um, being here. So just um, seeing um, a smile on their face every week makes me smile. So. When, what time will you be done at the end of the game? I'll probably be able to go home around 11.30 midnight. 
No big deal. No biggie. Just a full day. For free. For free. <laughs> That's commitment. <laughs> commitment. It's great, though. I don't mind it. I'm used to it by now. So. Good job, Courtney. Like Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Pat, yes. you have a really interesting story because you're from out of town. Tell us where you're from and uh, how often you come to the Cannons games. Well, we live in uh, Dover, New Hampshire. It's about uh, an hour away. And we've been coming to the games all last year and then uh, the last three games here. So this is our third game for this season. That's a lot of miles. A lot of miles. And you, you bring company as yes. well? Yes, I do. Tell us who you have with you. So this is Griffin, my son. This is Reed. And this is Michael, Michael Dyer, our friend. And you come to the games just because you're big lacrosse fans. Absolutely. It's, it's a, a, a privilege to be able to come over here and be only an hour away from world-class lacrosse. And I think that's a great opportunity for these little kids to come up and, and see awesome lacrosse. I love how you say it's, it's only an hour, yeah. no big deal, an hour one way. And that's not all that you do because you've got these guys who play, so you even just told me bright and early tomorrow you've got a lot going on. Yes, yeah, so they have, uh, Reed and uh, Michael have a nine, nine o'clock game over in Derry, New Hampshire. So, uh, and they just played today as well. They played a two o'clock game. And so it's, uh, weekends are all full of lacrosse uh, for the Santos family, yes. Lacrosse is life in the household, but you guys really, in, you have to absolutely. enjoy it. Absolutely, absolutely. And we have to spend the rest of the year recovering, it seems like, from, uh, from uh, a busy spring. <laughs> well, we love having you here as super fans, and you guys are running around in this awesome zone here. Thanks for coming, and, and go Cannons, yeah? Go Cannons. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you.